Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to take a look today at multicharts.net, the starter edition of multicharts. And this is an absolutely free version. So anybody, you can download this for free uh, right off of multicharts website. Now, what we're going to talk about today is just upgrading multicharts. Of course, they frequently release updates for things like bug fixes or new features. So if you want to take advantage of those and make sure you're on the newest version, which is always a good idea, uh, the upgrade process is actually pretty simple here. So I'm going to show you just how to access that uh, in case you ever need to upgrade in the future or maybe if you want to check for your upgrades uh, frequently. Uh, again, always a good idea. So let's go ahead and uh, you see I have multicharts open already uh, here. So just um, I don't have any windows open or anything like that, but we do have it open. Now if I go ahead and go to the upper left hand corner, we have a help tab. And there are actually some uh, pretty good resources on here anyway. So we have things like a feedback form. If you want to submit something to multicharts, you can always do that. Uh, things like features requests, bug reports. So obviously you can see that here as well. Um, now, one of these options is check for updates. So you may be on the uh, latest version, but uh, if you want to check for updates anyways, it's always a good idea. Uh, so go ahead and uh, click on that check for updates. Now you can see in my case, I actually uh, am not on the uh, newest version here. So uh, if we take a look here, you see a new version is available. My version is a little bit behind that. so. Uh, I may want to go ahead and update that. So you can see they include a link here to download the newest version. So that's pretty convenient. So I'll just go ahead and click that. And uh, so my web browser should come up here at this point. Uh, and this will just let us know that we can uh, download here. And I'll go ahead and navigate here to uh, the multicharts page. And since multicharts.net starter edition is absolutely free, you can uh, download it here just by clicking on the download button. So it brought me right to that page. You can see that version they mentioned 8.7.7630 right here. Uh, I'm using a 32-bit version of Windows, so I'm just going to download the 32-bit version. But if you have a 64-bit operating system, um, it's always good to uh, download that 64-bit version. Take a little bit more. Uh, of your system resources or take advantage of those system resources uh, is always a good idea to get the most out of your memory and processing power. Uh, since I just have a 32-bit version, I'm going to go ahead and download that. And you see, do you want to run or save? I usually just go ahead and uh, run that. So I'm going to download that uh, automatically. So what I'm going to do here while that's downloading is I'm going to close out multi-charts here in the background. I'll just go ahead and click the X. See that went ahead and closed. So now we have uh, multicharts downloading here. So it should be uh, done just momentarily. We go ahead and select yes. Now there's a few things, a few dependencies that may need to be installed depending on if you've already had multicharts installed or if there's been an update to these dependencies. You can see I already have the, the .NET framework for both 3.5 and 4.0. Those are already installed. There hasn't been any uh, newer versions that I need to download. So we're just going to download multicharts. If there was an updated version, uh, you can always use the check boxes here. For example, I could just uh, uncheck here multicharts.net if I wanted to. In this case, I'm going to leave that, of course, because that's what we're upgrading. I'll just select install. And you see that the actual uh, file here is being downloaded through the installer. So we're going to just go through there. And uh, now we have the actual setup. So this is uh, just essentially like installing any other Windows program here. Um, you have an installer here, and we're just going to go through the prompts. Uh, so it look, should look pretty familiar for you if you've uh, installed other things on your computer. Of course, it's a pretty simple process. So I'm going to go ahead and select Next. Uh, read through the license agreement here. You can see there is uh, a, quite a bit of a, a license agreement, so make sure that you agree to all of those terms and then select accept, select next again. And this will tell you kind of what's new for the current release. So if you want to see the differences, what exactly is different between your current version and the new version, you can read through that. Select next, select next one more time here. 
and now you have the option to have that added to a quick launch bar or a desktop uh, I already have a shortcut set up so I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck those and I'll select install So now that we are done here with the setup, the installation, um, you have the option to have it automatically launch if you want to. Uh, you just check that box or you can select finish here and then you're all done. So that means that you are updated. You're up to the uh, latest version of multicharts.net, the starter edition. Uh, so thank you for joining uh, this video on just uh, updating and making sure that you are up to date uh, as far as your multi-charts version. Make sure you're, you're on top of all those bug fixes, new features, and things like that. If you have any questions about this process or any other questions about multi-charts, uh, feel free to visit our website at www.optimusfutures.com or give us a call, 303-529-1000.